Hello my planner beauties and welcome back to another plan with me. First off, I want to thank you everybody who had purchased a July mystery kit. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I truly appreciate that and I really, really appreciate that you do love my design. Second note, I have extended the July mystery kit cutoff date till Sunday. So Sunday will be your last day to purchase one of the kits and anything after that is all custom. Custom meaning I have only made certain amounts of kits to be sent out and anything that's after Sunday, I have no more kits to sell out. So that's why it's going to be a custom listing on my Etsy. If you're still interested in getting your hands on one, I suggest you convo me through Etsy and I will create a custom listing for you. However, you will have to pay for the shipping charges. It's not free shipping anymore after the cutoff date because it is a custom listing. And one more thing before we get on to a plan with me, I had promised one of you Instagrammers a shout out. So here's a shout out to XEmmaXLOL. So hi. Okay, so now let's get back to our plan with me. As you can see in the background, it's kind of black and white and tropical. So if you have watched my new release video, you will know which kit I'll be using for this week. Any guesses? If you guys guessed Miami Paradise, ding, 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 you were right. So my inspiration for this kit is when I was visiting Miami and I just love the art deco, historic art deco building there. It's just so gorgeous. There were palm trees, all the buildings were so bright in color, lots of reds, lots of yellows, lots of greens for sure because of the palm tree. Because the florals and the palm trees were very well detailed, I didn't want to overwhelm this kit with a lot of color, so I just chose the brightest colors. There were the pinks, the reds, the yellows, the green, that reminds me of Miami. And I figured to contrast it with the black and white pattern background, and oh my gosh, I am just so, so in love with this kit. This week is going to be a no white space spread because I want this week's spread to look very bright and punch of colors and it's going to be very very busy as you can see it will be super busy. Okay this week we're going to plan from June 6th to June 12th. Let's get started. As you know, I like to start from the bottom up, meaning using my bottom washi and my sidebar and build up because I like to layer the stickers on top of each other. However, as you can see here, my washi is not like a straight rectangle where you can just put it on the bottom. It actually sits on top of another sticker, so I'm just going to work on my ombre heart check boxes at the bottom first before I lay my bottom washi. Next, I'm going to do my to-do headers. I'm just going to show you, as I always do in my video, how my headers will look kind of like a washi tape when you spread it across your week. And I like to peel them all off at once so I don't have to individually peel it. It just saves me so much time and I just place it at the back of my hand. And there we go, it looks great. Didn't I tell you it kind of looked like a washi tape, right? And next I usually do my sidebar, so I'm going to start building my sidebar here. I love this sidebar sticker, like the palm trees and the black background, oh my god. Anyway, so let's start off. Place down my heart check box with Happy Mail because I am expecting a few things actually coming in the mail. And I put my scallop check boxes on top with the important heading and a few daily trackers and my reminder on top of my daily trackers because I have to do them daily. Next, I'm going to do my midsection, which I usually put my full boxes there. Oh, I'm so in love with this. I love it. I find the washi or matching washi to kits is the hardest because I don't have a big washi collection compared to other planners out there and maybe that's why it's hard for me but I don't know so these are my picks for this week and here I am just doing a process of elimination which I think will match and won't match 
and I think I'll be using all that today. Because this kit doesn't come with a top header washi, I have to pick one and I decided to pick that pink and gold foil pineapple because there are little pineapples in my spread. And as you can see, I am working on my midsection here. And you know me, I don't like to have just single washi, so I decided to layer them. And this green sparkly washi is actually from Michaels. Well, all my washi is from Michaels because that's the only craft store we have in Canada. I'm gonna add this black and white diagonal thin washi on top of the green and then layer both of them with this word, black and white wording washi. And I am so in love with that washi. And you'll be thinking, why? It's just black and white. I'll show you in a minute why I love this washi. Like look at that, it has little words like dreamer, love and laughter, time to dance, never look back. And it also has little doodles of diamonds on it. Oh, I just love it. I just love any washi that has words or quotes on it. I am going to cover the top header with this gold foil pineapple washi. Now to fill in my todays. So I'm just gonna place all my meal plan stickers at the bottom of the section because it's just easier for my eyes to go towards it when I do need to see what I'm having that day. Okay, Monday. As always, my little one has school slash daycare. And this Monday is my payday and also I have to grab groceries because we are out of food. Sorry that the bottom part is kind of cut off from the frame, but I'm just adding a garbage sticker to indicate that it's recycling and organic that day and my mail out sticker for some orders that I have to mail out because I did have a special promo that went on on Sunday. And on Tuesday, it's gonna be my creative day. Also, it's a nice cool day for me to go running. And Wednesday, obviously, my little one has school slash daycare again. And I am also going to the salon to get my hair color that day because I feel like summer is coming. I need my hair to be a little bit lighter than what it is now. Now on to Thursday. Thursday is also going to be another creative day for me and my husband has hockey that night too. Not to mention I have my in-laws coming in on Friday so I have to tidy the house and get the house ready for the visit. Friday Little Miss P has daycare slash school and my in-laws and also my niece will be visiting us so I'm just going to indicate that with two cars because they'll be driving down to meet us at our home. The weekend banner for this spread is super simple. It's not as crazy as or decorative how my other kits are because I figured that this spread is already busy so I just decided to use a rectangle with a white background. On Sunday my daughter has a dance recital so we are super excited to see that. And on Saturday is going to be a chill day with the family because my in-laws are here and I think we're going to do some gardening too. I'm just going to fill up the bottom section with the extra full box that I have and also the washi. And now I can finally add my bottom washi. Before I lay it down, I just realized that it might cover some of my icon stickers. So I just moved it up the box. And there we go. I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Even though it's super busy with the flowers and the thing, but I think it works with the ombre heart checkbox. This being that it's solid, I think it really, really works well. Now to finish it with some decorative stickers that comes with the kit, I decided to use uh, the green sparkly washi underneath this sticker so it stands out a bit more in my bottom section there and I'm going to do the same thing with the top corner sticker too and it just ties everything together. And now I'm just going to finish decorating it. I decided to use my black pen instead of my red because I think the black will stand out a bit more in the spread.
And while I was running, I forgot a few things. So I'm just going to add some of my functional icons there and add what I need to do. Mostly is my YouTube and my Etsy stuff. And that's it, my super favorite part, putting it back into my planner. And I am so in love with this kit. It's so different from my other kits because my other kits are very girly and whimsical. But this one is just so, so bold, but yet yeah, I love working with the flowers and the watercolor. So thank you guys for watching. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, I would truly appreciate that you do. So just a little reminder that this Sunday is your last day to get the July Mr. Kits. Anything that's after Sunday would be a custom listing and there will be additional charges to it. So thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video which I'm pretty sure is going to be the June Mystery Kit unboxing. Oh, so if you guys don't want to know until you got your Mystery Kit, just don't watch it till you receive it. Thank you again and happy planning. Bye!